voltage indicator. This one's made by Battery Tender and I have a Battery Tender plus battery charger. Anyway that's besides the point. What these things do is it tells you how much charge is in your battery and it does more than that and I'll, I'll show you the extra stuff it does. So let's get it out of the packet. It's a, it's a cool little device and I hadn't seen these ones before until I was around my local bike shop the other day and I was watching them testing the voltage on the batteries in the in the showroom the bikes in the showroom so I thought wow that's a handy bit of kit and of course my batteries are my batteries my bikes are already kitted up with these little cables that you buy off of Amazon or, or wherever uh, they're less than five bucks normally you just stick them straight on your battery terminals and just leave it on there so anyway let's do that and I'll explain it as we go along all right negative to negative back terminal of course let's have some music while we're faffing about here and this is an old battery it's not old actually it's <laughs> it's almost new, but it's a faulty battery off of my Royal Enfield Himalayan. Uh, if you watched that video, I replaced this battery with a lithium battery. So, there you go. That's as complicated as it is <laughs> to connect to your battery. you got an inline fuse here. This one is seven and a half volts, I think. Yeah, 7.5. Sometimes I go up to like 15. But uh, anyway, they're very simple to use. So this is connected as it would be on your motorcycle or on your car or whatever. So connect it up. Right. And this will tell you what charge you have. Because it's pretty dim here, I'll, I'll bring in some additional light. 12.9 volts. Which is good, that's a good reading for a battery. It should be, because I've had this on trickle charge for a while. And after a few seconds it goes off. So you bring it back on again, if you need to. So there you go, 12.9 volts. I'm disconnecting this and I'm going to put this one in my van. I don't have one connected up in there, so that's where this one is going into the van. So let's let's go do it. Black one's your neutral, goes to your neutral on the battery. I know pretty much all of you are going to know all this stuff, but there's some people out there that don't so you know we all gotta start somewhere just gotta connect the positive what we used to use in the old days. It's still good today. Right. Quick check. And we're at 12, 12.6 volts here. 12.6, 12.7, somewhere that around there. And I'm just gonna zip tie this off to where I want it. Alright, so that worked out pretty neat. Look at that. The zip tied on there. There's your fuse, easy to get to. And the end of the lead 
fits in that little slot there very nicely. Just unplug, plug in our monitor. So battery voltage right now is 12.8. Keep an eye on it while I fire it up. Jumped up to 14.3, which is great. So we know that the alternator is working correctly and it's putting in the extra charge from 12 point whatever it was up to 14.3. And you can leave these things plugged in, that's why it keeps turning itself off, but I'm not going to do that. I think, it's, I think it's a very handy thing uh, to carry on a motorcycle more than anything because it takes up so little space. So there you go, 14.3. I'll just go turn it off, see where it goes. So it was 14.3 charging, now it's 13.4. So that's great. Let's unplug this, put the cap back on, just so it's got no chance of touching anything with a charge in it. And that thing will just sit right in there, nicely out of the way. Well worth putting this little bit of wire on your vehicles. It can save you a lot of hassle when the time comes when you wish you had it. For for less than five bucks, it's a, it's a no-brainer. Another great thing about these, of course, which is what they're more commonly used for, you want to plug in your battery charger. Uh, these are good ones as well, by the way, Battery Tender Plus. All you do there's your battery tender plus cable. You just plug her in. So no faffing about with with clips. That's it. Plug her in. Job done. And you can leave your battery now charging overnight. Safe. It's got a safe connection. Don't have to worry about crocodile clips being knocked off and sparking during the night. And you can drop down the, the bonnet, the hood of your vehicle and charge it away secure, no problems. I've got, like I say, I've got these on all of my vehicles, on the bikes, now on the van. I've only got one more to do, I've got the wife's car to do, so I'll get that one done next. I'll just show you this working on the bike. And this is the bike that I that I bought it for. Because that thing, I can hide this away dead easy. And just put it down next to the battery. No, no problem. So anyway, here's my cable. This one came with the Optimate charger. So there you can see it's at 12.6 volts. It's tight in there, but you can I, I can read it perfectly well, it's just hard to video. But 12.6 volts. Let's start the bike. Now it's at 14.3 volts. So there you, go. there you go, so we know that the coil is working, it's charging the battery as it should and we're back at 13 volts now, 12.9, but such a handy, handy little device, I mean god this, this thing takes up no space, it's about the size of my thumb, so I'll be carrying this on this bike 
Oh, one more thing. This will work on all ordinary gel lead acid batteries, all ordinary batteries, but what it will not work on, it will not work on lithium batteries. Well, it will and it won't. Um, on the information you get with this, they say it, it doesn't work on lithium. But what it does is you can plug in and you can read the charge on lithium, but if you fire the bike up, this just goes blank. You need a different bit of equipment if you're using lithium batteries. Right, so th this little thing is a no-brainer for carrying. It's, I got it specifically for this bike. Um, so I, I'll always know what my battery charge is at any time and I'll also know if the coils are good and when it's running if it's charging the battery. Very important, especially if you're out and you plan on riding at night and um, when you're running your lights if you've got any charging problems it's gonna it's gonna let you know about it at the worst time normally it'll be in the winter when it's cold and your batteries batteries don't perform as well in the cold they can be as as much as 50 60 percent less efficient in the cold you know below freezing and if you're running at night your lights and all, all of that if you're running lots of accessories but um, it's good to know peace of mind for what what was this car I think it was less than 15 bucks but there'll be a link in the description anyway it, to me it's a no-brainer but if you're running lithium batteries this will read the charge but it won't tell you all the other information so this is the wrong bit of kit for lithium but it's the right bit of kit for all your other 12 volt batteries. So for lithium, I've got a different bit of kit and that'll be a different video. So, alright, thanks for watching. Catch you later.